wanted to bring in too the really important point you brought up about um, kind of fear about talking about these experiences in the world of academia and research. Um, I know it is um, there is a resistance to spirituality and um, and a worry about people are you are you finding that you said it didn't become an issue for you but why do you think there is a resistance to spirituality and to fusing spirituality and uh, medicine yeah it's it is really interesting because um, according to the Pew research data 90 percent of Americans do believe in God so oh. technically it shouldn't you know they're by far in the majority and yet within science, and especially within certain professions of science, like psychiatry, there's fewer believers. There's more individuals who are doubters. And science and spirituality are, in many ways, strange bedfellows, because science is that which could be seen with your eyes, touched with your fingers, and, you know, empirical, quantifiable, subject to double-blind control trials. Spirituality, in contrast, is deeply personal, subjective, transcendent, very difficult to study and quantify in quite that way, which is why the science of spirituality is a paradox and why the two don't always go together. Mm -hmm. But it's precisely because they're a paradox that I think makes it so important to integrate these two things and they can give us very powerful information about different parts of the human experience in very complementary ways. 